Hello everybody, this is Etho, and welcome back guys to another episode of Ark Survival. I saw this and I was like, man, that is the coolest looking Carno I have ever seen. It's like bright red on the bottom. And I just about like jumped off my bird to like start taming it. <laughs> and then I saw, oh wait a minute, that's this is an alpha, alpha Carno. So it doesn't have the red trail on it anymore. Uh huh. <laughs> just about got eaten. Let's try finish it off here though. Get some levels. I've been doing a lot of leveling up since last episode, guys. I'm like Mr. XP guy now. Like I, I think I got it all figured out how to level up quickly and stuff. Of course, if there's alpha, alpha Rexes or Carnos or, or Raptors, you want to kill those. They give a lot of XP. But just killing like Brontos and T-Rexes and, and Spinos, you get tons as well. So that's what I've been doing a lot here lately. Mastercraft Bow. That's interesting. I might want to keep that actually. Even though I don't really use bows anymore. We've got to level up on our, our bird here. This is a new Pterodon, by the way. Um, it's already a level 214 though. I've, uh, I've been leveling it up here like crazy. I think I'm going to go for Stamina. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I got something to show you here, guys. I have... I have this problem, right? It's a house guest on the server. It's the middle of the day right now. <laughs> and he's still sleeping. I, I got up to go to work killing dinosaurs, and he's still sleeping on the floor. He's been up all night partying. I'm going to show you him, but I got to warn you, it might take away your innocence. Like, it's it's a sight. Alright. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. So B-dubs, level 7. Get a job, man. Come on. Middle of the day, still sleeping. I guess, like, Fox and, and Proxy found him and they painted him. Look how detailed they were too, it's insane. Like they painted the ocean on his legs, he got he has Nemo and Kraken and all kinds of stuff on him. He's got flags. Oh they signed him too, Fox and Proxy. Got an anchor. I love mom. <laughs> and his face. Oh my goodness, his face. We'll let him sleep. Actually, you know what? Let's let's leave him a note. Let's give him a note, what should we say? Um, how about get a job, you lazy freeloader, freeloading fool. There we go, perfect. He took my hat too, he put like a, he put like a cowboy hat on me. Come on. Oh wait, 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 there it is, there it is, I'm taking it back. <laughs> what a guy. Alright, so I want to show you guys something. Kind of how I've been leveling up uh, to a certain extent, at least my birds here. So we got a new pterodon. We had perfection here before. This was a level 120. I kibble kibble tamed it. This was a 116 that I kibble tamed. Male and female, so we're going to do some, some breeding with them. Um, I thought pterodons for the longest time were just garbage. Oh, let's change our quality. But no, they're they're really good. Like they're not just for getting around quickly, which they do awesomely, by the way. But they do a lot of damage when you're fighting things. I got speed up to 201, melee damage 100 or a thousand percent on this one, and he just shreds everything. This is Pomus's Giga, by the way. He's got one roaming the Carno Island here. Let's see if we can find a big group of, of enemies, though, to show you. Like, look how quick he just wrecks everything. Just chews through it. So it doesn't have a strong attack, but uh, it attacks very quickly. It's like a chainsaw. Flying chainsaw of doom here. <laughs> and you level up very fast. Uh, if you do this. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I'm a big fan of Pterodons now. 
And he also has the barrel roll move, which it, it does a lot of damage. I think just the regular attack kills things quicker, though. But when you do the barrel roll, it makes you invulnerable for a little bit of time, too, which is nice. And it's just so much fun, just wrecking things like this. Like, look at all the deaths on the screen. <laughs> it's wonderful. And the other really good thing about Pterodons is it's a lot easier to find a good saddle for them. Like, I got a 38 armor saddle. To this date, I haven't really found a better Argentavis saddle. You might only be able to get them in red drops, I'm not sure. But I haven't found one yet. But Pterodon saddles are, are pretty easy to come by. So it's able to take a punch pretty good, too. Uh-huh. Anyways, I wanted to show you one more thing on this island. You remember a couple episodes ago, I went caving with uh, Putsy? And I got wrecked <laughs> pretty badly in the cave because we went on foot and that didn't work out so well. While we did that, though, we found out you can glitch a pterodon through a wall. We kind of figured that out by mistake. Let's see if we can do it again here. I've, I've done it a few more times since then, and it's really easy to do, actually. So you just park your bird at the water here. Actually, maybe I'll make a torch before we go into here. All right, here we go. Get a torch. I've been saying pterodon all episode two. I'm sorry. I think it's pteranodon, right? Probably driving you guys nuts. Okay, but we we whistle him. Normally, you can't get through the water with him, right? But if we swim through here, for some reason, he's able to glitch through the wall. If you if you jump a certain way, and Doc has set up a couple birds here. If people want to try to get the artifact, yeah, I think if you just jump like around there yeah that did it let's jump over the water like that he comes right through the wall and then you can fly a bird around in here and it makes it so easy and it's a great way of getting xp as well which has like been a central theme here <laughs> so let's look at our xp right now um maybe i'll look on my guy so i have 2400 let's remember those last four numbers what i like to do Oh, is there bats around? Oh yeah, there's lots of bats around. Okay. What I like to do is just like fly around them to get them aggro on me. Get them ticked off. And just kind of fly slowly around, not too quickly, because uh, otherwise you lose them. Just kind of get them all mad at you, though. Alright. This artifact is so easy to get if you have a bird in here. All right, and you see what happens? <laughs> they all start coming after you, and then you just do a barrel roll. <laughs> and you destroy them all. It's so much fun. It's so awesome. Uh-huh. All right, one more. Oh, maybe another one. It's the higher level ones that usually get left to the end there. All right, and then there's also, like, some... Uh, scorpions and stuff on the ground, usually spiders. I like to clean these guys up too, because they get chitin. Uh-huh. Alright. Let's finish off these guys. We can get the artifact if we want. It's just over here. Piece of cake. And then you get out of here. And to get out of here is pretty simple too. All you gotta do is... Go back through the door. Same way you get in. I like to close the door. Just so these guys get protected. Swim through the water. And make sure he's following you. When you get to the other side, he usually just automatically comes comes towards you. Once you start walking up this hill, he'll just come through the wall usually. Oh, maybe not. Oh, here he comes. Okay, good. Uh-huh. And let's check out our XP again. So we were at 2,400, now we're at 26, 24. So 224 XP from killing those bats. Okay, so next up here, guys, we're going to head into the snow biome once again. Uh, it seems like every episode we do, there's an update, and no exception today. <laughs> there's been two new dinosaurs, or two new creatures, I should say, added to the game. And uh, I think two new items as well, a catapult and what looks like a turret of some sort. 
Maybe we'll just check our list here. At the very end, there's like a turret here. It looks like a minigun that you can sit in. So I'm guessing you can aim it. But I'm not level 85 yet. I'm trying to get to le level 85. Uh, the other thing, though, is the catapult. A little bit higher in the list here. Which we might want to check out later. Oh, where did it go? I did see it. There's so many items now. It's it's pretty crazy. Oh, there's a filter. I never even noticed that. Aha! Catapult turrets. 25 EP. Must be crafted at Smithy. Okay, so we can't do that here. Let's see what's in our drop. The blueprints. Okay. But the two dinosaurs, or the two creatures, one's an ang anglerfish. You know, the fish with the light in the front. The other one, I'm very excited about. It's a penguin. <laughs> I love penguins. Like, they're one of my favorite animals in real life. So I can't wait to see them here. Uh, this just came out, by the way, so I don't know much about it either. I just saw a little video on them. Um, they're probably hanging around the glaciers, if I was to guess. So let's go over here. This is like a mini glacier. It's not like one I would expect to find them on, though. It's very, uh, it's like a mountain. But maybe. I don't see anything up here. Let's look for a flat spot. Up ahead here, there's some flat ice. That's where I think they're going to be. I better take a stew, too. Yeah, there's penguins, and they apparently give you polymer. Which is really cool, if that's true. Um, in the video I saw, they were like clubbing the babies. <laughs> which just sounds terrible, but... That might be the best way of getting it, if it if it is true. Oh yeah, yeah, here we go, okay. I almost thought we weren't going to find him here for a second. <laughs> Ker Karaku? Ker Karuku. I don't know how to say it. Karuku? Adolescent. So there's baby ones and there's bigger ones. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Juvenile. Alright. I hate to do it, but I'm going to kill him. Adolescent. Okay, does it give us any items? Organic polymer. Okay, that's what we want. Ooh, red drop. Awesome. Organic polymer. I wonder how you process it, though. Let's see what it says. Organic. These incredibly strong, lightweight plates are somehow naturally made in certain creatures. Hmm. I don't know if that counts as polymer already, or if you have to refine it some more somehow. I don't know. But yeah, you can apparently get polymer from them, which is pretty cool. And the babies, I think, give more. They want you to kill the babies for some reason. It's pretty sick. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. Can we find any more around here? There's a cave here, too. I've never been in this cave. Doesn't look like the bird fits. Alright. Uh, I'm guessing... Yeah, around here we'll po probably find more. Okay, let's try and make a club. We're going to club the babies. And then I want to try tame one if we can too. Alright. This is so wrong. This is so wrong. I have to tell you guys, I love penguins. I would not, I would not do this... It's <laughs> so bad. This is what they did in the video, though, so I want to try it. They run away like they don't fight you at all, it looks like. <laughs> oh, you glitched through the wall. It's so hard to hit them. Stand still, you, you fuzzy little wonderful creature. There we go. We got him. We got him. 714. Yeah, I think you get more with the club. That broke very fast, though, didn't it? Hmm. It's probably not worth it, though. I think I would rather just use my bird. Although we didn't try it on a baby. We'll make another one. We gotta try it on a baby. 
Let's also try to trank one of these and see if we can tame him. I'm not sure if he can. Let's see. Let's go for an older one. Uh, level 68. It didn't really react to that, did it? It's almost dead already from the shooting it. I can't, like, go into the inventory now. I think it's still trying to run away. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> Darn it! Alright, try it on this one. Oh, it did pass out. Okay. Access inventory. Yeah, you might be able to tame it. I'm going to try to do that then. Uh, let's go get this drop, though, before we forget about it. Alright, I'm guessing they want meat. Alright, what do we get? Scope attachments. Those aren't too bad, actually. I kind of like getting those. Alright, is this the bird over here? Yeah, it is. Okay. Try tame it, if we can. Okay, it's not eating it yet. Or is this a dead one? Decomposes. Decomposes. They're both dead. Oh! Oh, that might be why. I think a, a dog killed it. Okay, we'll have to try again. Alright, I got a level 81 passed out. Uh, I think they want meat. We'll, we'll find out here. Okay. Yeah, she's eating it. Very good. Okay, and... Oh, one more will do it. 99.1%. So, yeah, she's about to be tamed here. The food goes down pretty fast, actually. Oh, man, we have a penguin. <laughs> Let's look at our list here, too, by the way. This shows you all the animals you've tamed. Or if you can't tame them, it shows you which ones you've killed. I'm missing two, four, six, seven, eight in the list. I know I haven't tamed a spino yet. I've, I've been wanting to. Uh, Pengu. Pengu. Alright. Level 119. <laughs> we have a penguin. Alright. Oh, it has a head slot. Oh, I can put the cowboy... Oh, I put the cowboy hat away, actually. Darn it. Can I craft one? I don't think I can. Let's see. Well, I'll give her my hat. Give her the tri-cat tri and see what happens. So it's kind of like the gorillas, how they have the head slot. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh-huh. I don't think you can ride them. They're a little bit on the small side. Can you pick them up with a pteranodon? You can. Awesome. Okay, so let's do a little fashion show here. We'll try out a few different hats. Uh, I got the cowboy hats. Oh, that looks... That really suits it, actually. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, we got the cowboy hat. We saw the tri cat. Let's try a Rex... Rex helmet. Oh, so fearsome. <laughs> and I also wanted to try out the mining helmet. Um... This polymer, it works as it is, by the way. So let's let's look at this. If I take it out, we go to... Oops. Armor. Metal. Yeah, so the mining helmet takes 14 polymer. There's not enough in the machine right now. We add this, and there it is. So it's just like normal polymer. Kind of cool. That makes it so much easier to collect that stuff, because before, you needed... You needed cementing paste and obsidian, which was no easy feat. Like, the frogs made it a lot easier, but if you can just get it off penguins like that, that is pretty crazy. Alright, mining helmets. I don't know if this makes it so the light works on the penguin. That would be really cool. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Yeah, it's brighter if I stand in front. Oh, I want to see it at nighttime. It's going to be nighttime soon here. 
That looks really good on the penguin too, though. Yeah, it does work. Look, there's you can see the light when he moves his head. It goes with it. <laughs> I want like an army of penguins with mining helmets following me at all times. All right, everybody. So maybe one more thing we'll try to do this episode. I want to see if we can go find those angler fish. So I just tamed uh, Speedy here. <laughs> Uh, got a new dolphin. Fish sticks. Our first dolphin died a long time ago uh, because I don't I don't have an aqua base. And I really need to set one of those up. Otherwise, megalodons just keep coming by and killing all my sea creatures. All right. So if I was an angler fish, where would I be? I think the real life ones they hide down in the deep ocean. So maybe we should swim down. I think they're a deep sea creature, right? They've added like new underwater sounds too. That's just a regular fish. Okay. <laughs> they should be pretty obvious to, when you find them because they got the big light in front of their face. There's not a lot of sea life down here though. Hmm. I don't know what's going on. I had to like fly around a very long time to find this dolphin. There's not like a lot of fish swimming around right now. Here, let's try go down around here. There's an underwater cave uh, right here. I can, I can find it always because it's at the very edge of this cliff that kind of runs down the coast for quite a ways there. So if we just go straight down, we can get we can get some air underwater here. Oh, we're going to have to keep surfacing. Okay, this... Speedy, you're not very fast, you know that? <laughs> um... Yeah, there's not really any fish around here. Okay, let's grab a breath. Go double check it again. Because the plesiosaurs and those big whale ones, I think they hang around these caves. Oh, there they are. Okay, I found some. I found them. <laughs> I thought those were the silicon pearls at first. And it's like, oh wait, they're moving. They're coming after me. That one looks super blue. I like that one. Oh, they do damage too. That's that's uh, taking chunks out of my fish here. Let's see if we can get them up to the surface. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna drown though. I gotta go up. Get some air. Let's see if we can get them up to the surface. I don't know if they'll do that or not. Some of the fish they don't go above a certain point in the ocean. And since these are deep sea fish, maybe they won't. This guy's coming up pretty high, though. Come on. Come on. Still still coming after me? Good, good. Oh, no, he turned away. Come back here. I want the blue one. The blue one looks really cool. Ouch. Come on. This might be the point where they don't want to cross. Yeah, see, so you turned away. She'll, this one will turn away too. Yeah, okay, so this is the limit right here. Um. Well, let's see if we can get them with the crossbow. Come get some. Totally ignored me. <laughs> Darn it. I don't know if we'll be able to tame it. We can try. I got no, no way of getting like prime meat in the ocean here is the problem. Oh, I just killed one. It gives you angler gel. No idea what that's for. Let's see what it says. Angler gel is... A thick... Viscous substance that can sustain a flame for a remarkably long duration. Oh, it's fuel. Weird. I'm going to try tame it like you tame a dolphin where you have an empty hand and meat in your last bar. Because it's like it's... I don't know, it's not coming after me now. It's like swimming away from me. Can I feed you? I don't think I can feed him. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I've I've tranked it more than enough times, I feel. And it still hasn't passed out. 
Oh no, 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 no. Gotcha cornered. No, 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 no. I think maybe they have a small hitbox and these are all just missing them. I don't know, it's really hard to get a hit. Please just pass out already. I used up all my Trank Arrows. That was 50 Trank Arrows on this guy. I don't know. <laughs> I Oh, we got one more. One more chance. I think I'll have to wait to uh, see what other people say about these guys. I don't know how to tame it. Can't get it to pass out. Yeah, it's still... Still after me. Okay. Well, anyways, that's what they look like. I think we'll wrap up the episode here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again in the next one. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.